And so, um, how much debt, student loan debt, do you have? Um, about five fifty. Five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And do you have a student loan? How big is your student loan? Well, it's possible that a GOP proposal could snatch your student loan payment right from your paycheck. This is from CNBC. I don't have any student loans. Uh, I, when I was going to school, I was doing my best to pay as I go. Um, I don't think student loans are really uh, a smart thing to do because people rack up these huge loans and then they're trying to get a job in that field to be able to pay that loan off. Um... And maybe it will become worth it. Uh, but then again, they might wind up getting laid off. And they still have that debt to pay. So, uh, Let's see. Student loan borrowers would have their monthly bills automatically deducted from their paychecks if a Republican-backed proposal becomes law. Okay, now I've said this in uh, maybe uh, two or three episodes, okay, or... You know, on my show that uh, that I I did vote for Trump. Um, I'm typically Republican, but <clears throat> that does not mean that I completely agree with everything that they're doing. And with something like this, um, I'd have to say, uh, screw you, Republicans. This is kind of crappy. Um, Especially if someone's in a situation uh, where they don't have employment and can't pay that student loan. Just like what I was talking about at the very beginning. Um, so, yeah, just because I, uh, I voted for Trump or if I tend to lean Republican does not mean that I hate everything about Democrats. I don't. I mean, I think both sides have good and bad things about them. Well, here's a bad thing for uh, Republicans. Anyway, I, I get, I get, I don't know. When it comes to politics, I hate politics. I hate it with a passion. And nowadays with all the crap going from the right and the left, I just, I don't care anymore, but I don't even think I want to vote anymore. To be honest with you, I'm too old for this crap. <laughs> um, Senator Lamar Alexander, Republican Tennessee, chairman of the Senate Health, Education, Liberal, who cares? Um, the changes could affect some 40 million people if they do this. Average debt at graduation is currently around 30000 up from 10000 in the early 1990s. The country's outstanding student loan balance is projected to swell to $2 trillion by 2022. Well... Maybe the problem is with the education system. Maybe you're making education so damn expensive that people can't afford it. Books are insanely ex expensive. There's a problem with the system. The whole system is screwed up. You know, you spend thousands of dollars on an education and maybe you can get a job in the field. I don't know. The whole system's screwed up, if you ask me. I got my associate's degree, um, and it was in web design. Uh, am I doing something in web design? No. But thankfully, I don't have a $30,000 debt either. Currently, borrowers are matched with companies that administer the federal student loan programs, and they have some 14 different ways to repay their education debt. Under Alexander's proposal, there would be just two repayment routes, one in which borrowers' monthly bills are capped at 10% of their discretionary income, 
and another that spreads their payments out over a decade. Employers would be responsible for taking the funds from the employees' paychecks and sending them to the government. Of course, student loan borrowers currently can set up automatic payments with their lender. You okay? My goodness. You sound like you're upset. I guess I would be too with this. Um, I think this proposal is likely to become law after some tweaks, said Mark Kantrowitz, a student loan expert. What makes him a, what makes him an expert? I don't know. Lamar said his proposal would streamline the student loan system and protect borrowers. It makes sense. Or, or it makes sure if there were no money earned, there would be no money owed. And that would not reflect negatively on the borrower's credit. The plan quickly grew criticism from consumer advocates who called it mandatory wage garnishment. For borrowers with tight budgets that need to be navigated on a monthly basis, forced automatic payroll withholding may mean diverting money away from rent, heat, or food in order to pay their student loans. Critics of the proposal say that payments should always be voluntary and that people need the flexibility to default on their student loans one of five borrowers are in default or delinquency on their student debt. Well, yeah, if they can't get work, like I said, the whole system is screwed up. Fix the system. It's broken. When a borrower defaults on their federal student loans, Cantrowitz said the government currently can garnish up to 15% of their wages anyway, which is more than the 10% that would be taken out under Alexander's proposal. Many borrowers who default have sufficient income to repay their debts but just have difficulty managing their money there's a potential for a lot of elegance in the design of student loan repayment via payroll withholding uh however um barmac nasserian director blah, blah. anyway this is a system rife with fraud and predatory lending he said some borrowers might also have an issue he had it with their employer and uh, blah 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 anyway so I don't know. What do you guys think about this? You think uh, do you think the government should step in and force people to pay back their student loans? Do you think that's going to um, really fix uh, the debt issues that are out there, or is it or is it one of those band aids that you uh, put on your arm that has a lot of hair on it, like? You know, like mine. <laughs> and then you rip the Band-Aid off. I don't know. Uh, what do you think about it? I think you pretty much know what I think about it. But what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another rambling video.